back on tape? Are we back recording? Are we back recording? Yeah. 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 All right. So, <clears throat> the rectangle is positively charged. Okay. What do the uh, negative charges represent? Holes. Holes, okay. The positive charge would represent uh, uh, the higher elevation. So this is like a big plateau with three holes in it. Something like that. Something like that. In fact, to, to emphasize So this is like uh, what you did in the lab that you had, this was negative, right? And these were positive. So like two mountains surrounded by a parking lot. So this is three holes surrounded by a parking lot. We're making this up all Two years. Okay. Now, if you were to draw lines of equal voltage. Let's start close to the holes. If I was to draw, what would those, like if I was to draw this elevation, if we said this was zero volts and say this was one volt, what would the one volt line look like from above? It'd be a little circle, maybe a little oval, I don't know, but something would be kind of tight in here. Okay? Because we're really close to the bottoms of the hole, so as you go up, the diameter around that's pretty tight. As I go up higher, then these get, you know, looser and they probably get like funny shapes. Something like that. You know, it might stick out on one side more than the other. What about right here? As I draw that line. Yeah, plateau among all of them. This actually goes, I, I am here. I'm going to go around like that. I'm kind of winging this, and I expect you to wing it, but you get the general idea. <laughs> I mean, we can't be precise here, right? Just don't screw up. <laughs> Trust me, it's really easy to grade these. I glance at them, I know whether you understand what you're doing or not. All right. What about when I'm like here? What, do, what does that equivalent to? It's around the entire thing, and it probably comes in a little like this. Something like that. I ran out of space here. Does that kind of make sense? Yes. Can you visualize it, the three-dimensionality of it? So in this one, it's almost the opposite of how we normally think about it, because we normally think the rings closer together is showing that you're shooting up. Whereas in this one, you need to do the inverse of that. And here, your rings close together are showing Yeah, this, this is like I took what you did in the lab, and I flipped it over. Oh, my God. So it's like the uh, a bunk cake mold instead of the bunk cake. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's been to nothing but cake, right? No? What's that? You haven't been to nothing but a cake. Oh, so good. Oh, Leave it all for us. Don't tell yeah. me. <laughs> nothing but cake is a store on Tio Boulevard that has the best cake in the world. Oh, wow. It was like featured on TV for just cake to Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. Of course, those are all positive charges. It was the same thing. It, this would look the same just with positives there and negatives. Yeah, you, from the elevations, you can't really tell. But if I was to put numbers on these, then they would be going to bigger numbers close in, whereas here we're going to smaller numbers. 
All right, now, how do I draw the electric field lines in this situation? Well, they, they all go into the hole. They all go into the hole. So every, everywhere points downhill into the holes, okay? Yeah. And I'll, I'll take it easy. Along these lines, it should be direct in like this. Okay. What, what are our rules for the field lines? They go from what to what? Positive. 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 You guys are just doing great. I, I think tomorrow you guys are going to do all right on this test. Thank you for teaching us. I'll have to make it harder. Nope. And, and what else? What's the other rule? Perpendicular to the lines of equipotential, potential. Yes. Yeah, I have a question about that. Yeah. I'm a little bit confused. When you say perpendicular, you mean from like if we have to do it through those lines? I feel like perpendicular could be like anywhere. I mean, like if you wanted to do it from this side, all you have to do is like point it that way, and it's like perpendicular. Well, but but it, if I was to draw this carefully, wherever it crosses this line should be a right angle. Obviously, it's not. Okay. okay. But it should be. And so, if you want to show that on your test, even though you can't make it perfect, go ahead and put a few of those in. <laughs> okay. Then I know. Ugly picture, smart person, okay? Thank you. Okay, and then over here, what do we call this? Awesome. Uh, it is awesome. It's an inverted what? Inverted bunk cake. Is the inverted bunk cake equivalent of a? Hill. Hill of Holes. Parking lot. Hill What's at the very top of this particular hill, though? P. Is it pointy? It's flat. It's like a little plateau here. Right here is a plateau. So the, what, what do electric field lines do at a plateau? They don't go there. If you're standing on something that's flat, there's no line pointing downhill. Okay. So the electric field lines, if you did this carefully, would go like this and like this. Alright, thank you. <laughs> F for me. <laughs> okay. And like this. Okay. But they really won't go near this this part here because it's a flat feature. So it's like if you were to like, you know those like little games when you're younger and you had to like maneuver the ball around. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of everything will go down that way. So like kind of so there's like little holes in like a like a pinball machine kind of. Right. If I put a ball here, boom, it's gonna go into the hole real okay. fast. And where is the mount where are these features steepest? In other words, where's the electric field really strong? Where these lines are really close together and where these field lines get really crowded. That means we're we're jamming in here really good. And when these are close together, that's like a cliff. So the electric field is equivalent to steepness. That's my clip. Over here, there's field lines are uh, the uh, lines of equal voltage are far apart and we're flat, so the, the electric field's almost zero. Why would it be zero? I'm getting if I was a positive charge right there. This pulls me that way. This pulls me this way. Equal opposite forces, theoretically, you could just sit there perfectly. Does that make sense? Do we think we could draw something like this tomorrow? Yes. That exact picture, yeah. That's a pretty ugly picture, but you can tell I know what I'm talking about. I just can't draw. Why is it ugly? A lot of things in nature are beautiful. Why is this? It's ugly because I drew it. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Any other questions on that? <laughs> <laughs> what would the higher electric potential be? Okay, where is the highest electric potential? Towards the positive, right? The positive, not towards the positive. The positive. All of this is a line, and this is the parking lot. It's all a line of equal potential. It's an even voltage, and it's the top of the feature, the top of this whole thing. Sometimes I get confused. 
So this would be like, you know, 10 volts and 0 volts. But the stuff closer to 0 volts is the steeper slope, which means that that's where the stronger electric field is. Yes. In here, the field, the steepness of that contour is very steep, so the electric field must be very strong. But if you put a charge in there, it'll feel a really strong force. Good. Yes. We don't know that it's steep right there. It can't be steeper on the outside more than shallow up. Well, based on the drawing, you know it's steeper here because these lines are close together. Yeah, but we do that. Like, well, good point. You do that, so who knows, right? Right. But, um, but uh, that's a fair question. So we're not well, going to know what part it makes deeper enough to just make more people Well, but how would you draw, I mean, if these are three holes, what would that look like if it was a surface of some kind? Yeah. I mean, it can't all be steep, right? Right. So. No, you would just, so you might have to give us some additional data for us to know, right? I mean, you would have to, to say that, or no, can, I mean, you would just know so. because of how close the lines are. Because even on a topical topographical map, it doesn't matter if you're going up or down, the line symbolizes that you've had a change in elevation. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. True, but I think the issue is um, when these were positive charges, you could think of two mountains being pulled close together until they formed a saddle, right? Sure. Now we're doing three holes until they're close enough to form a saddle. It's not hugely obvious. Right. But I think I think if you thought about it. Think of this as your as a, as a reference point, you know, and that that's a big, big thing and spread out. And so, um, the, around the point charge, things get concentrated by, by the very definitions. You know, KQ over R is really tight. But yeah, it might not be as intuitive as when these are positive charges. I think your uh, pinball uh, machine analogy works, though, right? I mean, the plateau part's like the worst game ever, right? The ball doesn't move. But so when there's just a small yeah. slope change, your ball isn't going to move that fast. When it falls into the hole, you're going to go a fast distance. Yeah, like if I put a ball here, it'll roll slow, 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 fast, 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 and hit the bottom. That's the bottom. I'm not like this on the side instead of like that. Then it would be steeper at the top part. Um, okay, okay, so... What William's saying is, why do we know here that it goes like this instead of like that? Right. Because yeah. uh, KQQ over R squared drops off. This is a negative, but it's the same idea. If I have a point charge and the you know 1 over R squared, uh -huh. it's really steep near here. In this case, we're making that a negative, so it flips it. But the contour is identical, just negative sign. Okay. Does, that, does that make sense? Yes. So this being a 1 over r squared curve, it drops off very quickly. It's steep near the charge, and it's flat farther away. Does that, does that help? Yeah. That one works better for me. If these three were positive, how would this the electric field lines change? They, just go they would go up. Like, they would point the arrows down. We just change the arrows. Presumably, these would be positive and these would be ne negative. It's a rectangle. There would still be those like gaps in the middle. Everything's identical. We just change the direction of these arrows. Yeah, literally. Assuming you know they're all even values and stuff like that. Okay. Yes. Would that be effective if there was a negative positive thing out at the bottom? Yeah. Oh, what would we do if negative, positive, negative? Yeah. Oh, there's someone like this in every class. Well, it's not the test. <laughs> it's not, if it's not on the test, you don't really care. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, if it's not on the test, then we should still care because it's knowledge and we should care about That's knowledge. That's right. First for knowledge. Yes, sir. Well, that's much. Oh, thank you. All right. So let's say this is negative, this is positive. And that's negative. What does this look like? Well, we change this to. There's a hole, and then there's a mountain. And then there's, there's a, a mountain. mountain. And I don't know what the contours look like, but it's something like that. OK? 
So we'd have you know circles around here, circles around here. These would be really high circles. These would be really low circles. These would be really low circles. So this is where you have to provide the additional information because you need to know two of those circles what the change in voltage is to be able to determine where you're going, right? You need to know how much change is represented by one of those circles. Um, no, I could say these are all the same value of charges, just plus or minus. I, okay. If I gave you this, I wouldn't put the ring around it. Does that make, does that make sense? Yes. Otherwise, the, this would be at the same height as this. Yep. 10 volts or whatever. So I'd probably do... Something like that. Does, that. does that make more sense? All right. And then, it, just like uh, some of your first drawings in the lab, you know, they go up like that, and uh, I don't know, it gets a little complicated here. It's a little hard to predict what goes on here topographically. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd need to think that through. So that's not okay. so I think I can say it's not on the test, therefore I'm what sorry. They all get the same equal potential line when it's flat. Pardon me? Okay. Say that 10 volt line right there. Wouldn't they all be on the same line at that point? Um, the 10 volt line would look good. You know, it'd, it'd probably be something like this. Yeah, so it'd go all through. Yeah, it'd kind of be like the funny looking peanut thing. Yeah. All right. Should we quit, quit on this 